Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. Winter is here. What is that noise outside? Morning. There you go. What's your plan for the day? You want to catch up on sleep? Where'd you go? I can't see you. I got a whole set of blueprints I wrote up for a snowy day in Sandrock. Maybe later I can show you them all. Absolutely you can. Catch uh, you later. Bye. <laughs> I am curious. Um, because I think we said that we were familiar with our child. Are we? We're not quite there yet. I'm very curious as to... <laughs> Morning. I still got several designs left to Let's check. See. Let's see. Very out. curious as to what the next stage in our relationship with our child is. Okay. We have a ribbon cutting ceremony. Is that right? Is that what's happening right now? Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Cool. How fun. I've decided that we need to get closer and Katori is here too. Okay, let's look at the mail. Workshop ranking. Thanks to your tireless efforts, you managed to win first prize in the monthly workshop rankings. It's folks like you that make you feel honored to be the commissioner of this town. I hope you'll carry on giving it your all and will become the best commerce in the whole free cities. Please take this reward as first place. Nailed it. Absolutely. Tumbleweed standard. Ooh, look at this. Warm up, get good. Um, As much as I just, I don't really want to read this right now. Hello? There we go. Um, let's see. Did I get my Yakmel station? Or is that not done yet? Oh, she's walking around with the baby. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, let's go double check. See if the Yakmel station is done. And then we're going to head up to the tree. We also have, um, a big ribbon cutting ceremony. Now this has 48 seconds left on it. Okay. Okay, this is super important. Let's take a look. There's two things happening over here. Where is this ribbon cutting thing? Okay, can I do... I need fluorite. Crap. Let's hope that gets me enough. Uh, I think that the name generator I picked for these was like starship names or something like that. Where is this ribbon cutting thing happening? How much time do I have left on both of these? I still have a fair amount of time. Good. Oh look, it's growing. Yakmel station completed. Beautiful. I do wish that the robot would take care of these. Um, as far as, let's see, we could make more fertilizer. I'm trying to th make sure that I cover all my bases. One thing that we should probably do today before it gets any later. Oh yeah, I didn't get this. I am gonna decorate the house. If I don't do this right now, it's never going to happen. It's never gonna happen. It's early in the morning, it's the middle of the day. If I don't fancy this up as we speak, um, it's never ever going to happen. So we're going to do it right now. Now, hold on. First thing I want to do, change material. No, change appearance. Majestic. Ooh, fancy. Kind of want to go with the majestic. Why? Because I'm a majestic lad. That's why. Okay. There we go. That's a good start. I love the tile roof, but we have, um... Ooh, that's pretty cool. 
I want to say that we actually have a few different kinds of roofs, right? Oh, that's what I've been using. Okay, perfect, perfect. So let's see, move. Okay, nice. No, I kind of like that. That window definitely needs to be more centered. That might mess things up inside, oh well. There was one I just did that I really liked. I like that, okay, ooh, ooh, okay. We're gonna do this to all the roofs. So let's see, it, the wall is this. It's freaking gorgeous. Okay, now I think I need to think about the rooms. Let's see, change material. What are the walls gonna be? Mm, it's too much, isn't it? Should it be the same? Ooh, I like that. Yes, this is great. Okay, there we go. This is a this is a really good start. Now we've got to fix these windows, right? We got to make better windows. Let's see, fancy barred, fancy canopy. What else do we have? Those are so ostentatious. I love them. These are not bad either. Nah, I don't like those. I don't hate them. What about this? Ooh, fancy flower windows. Hold on. Oh, the only problem is it clips with the fence too bad. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Is the other one gonna do that? Yeah, but that actually kind of works in a weird way. This one doesn't, as much as I like those. Okay, oh, one more. I have no idea what these will look like inside, but they're probably cool. Now that we've done that. Oh, that's really cute. What a cute sign. Okay, well, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Oh, look. Um, our simple sandfish pond is ready to be built too. Well, that's cool. Oh, it's upgradable. Look at this. You know, it'd also be really cool. Okay, so this is looking pretty cute. We could put some of these plants over here. I like these green outdoor hanging plants. I guess we could put these like one down. Okay, nice. I sort of like this right over there. I wish we had like a little patio that wasn't one of these wooden ones, just cause they're kind of junky. Um, one thing that would be really fun to do Why doesn't it go to the edge? That's so dumb. Okay. There we go. Look at that. That's quite the that's quite the factory right there. You know what it is missing though? A great big sign. It really is. There we go. Look at that. Yes. Okay, look at this. Oh, what a beautiful home. Oh my goodness, we have absolutely nailed it and it's snowing too. 
Our factory looks awesome. We've got our sign back. Look at our beautiful little home. It's so cute and cozy. I love it. We've got windows and lanterns and plants all around it. It brings me much, much joy. Okay, well, I think we can get this day started now. All right, got the following from your factory, Yakmel Station. Merle, let's go. Uh, I am a little curious about this ribbon cutting ceremony that she said we were going to be a part of. I don't see anything to do with it at all, right? Nothing. Nothing going on. I guess we could go ask her right now. We'll probably just get normal conversation, right? Hmm. I just love seeing Sandrock coated in snow. It makes it feel like a beautiful paradise. Be seeing ya. Oh, look, there's Logan riding this. <laughs> so cool. Oh, I don't know if I've seen him riding that thing yet. I mean, not since he was a bandit. That's cool. Let's go check out this tree. That's all I got. I actually do not remember how to get up there. I think it's like this way, right? There is a blue arrow popping up, look. Home visit, Jane. Oh, look at that. Jane has a quest for me. Okay, we'll have to check that out in a second too. Get out of my way, snakey snakes. Nice. Okay. Oh, I love it's that we're doing beautiful. this in the snow. In its own way, isn't is this, it? Is this tree alive? It doesn't look alive. I always knew there was something special about it. Just couldn't quite put my finger on it. I mean, we came up here because we saw it from so far away, and we we're like, "What is that?" So, what's the plan? We simply extract a small sample from the core of the tree, safely count the rings without harming it. Right. Good to know. I mean, it's not every day you need to find the age of a tree, but I always thought you had to cut them down and count the rings to know for sure. Not this tree. You know what I like about this guy? He's got the flat butt of an old man. <laughs> it's this perfect design. Nope. You can also get a pretty good estimate just from the circumference if you compare it to the trunk of the same species. A fallen one nearby usually does the trick. That's a good point. But given that this one might have survived from the Age of Darkness, it probably didn't have a chance to grow the way it should have. Some of its rings will be super small, which is why we need to take this sample and... Is this guy about to freak out? Yes, there's no mistaking it. It is indeed exactly as I hypothesized. Go on. Hey, you made it! This tree is the other main thing we wanted to check out while we were in Sandrock. Let's see, uh, it's famous? For the locals, I believe it's known as the Mountain Widow. Way back when people first started settling in Sandrock, there were two of them up here. But now, this jagged looking tree stands lonesome atop Mount Rock Sand, looking down mournfully, waiting for one who shall never return as the eternal weight slowly saps its life away. Jesus, man. Just get a little dark here. God. That was pretty goth. Ooh, it's the Mountain Widow. Better watch out. It's haunted by the ghost of... Uh... Mortal? Don't make fun of our Sandrock traditions, Nia. You're being rude. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone there. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Euphratica. 
a species now found all throughout the Eufaula. Every tree resembling this one you see. In layman's terms, this one, this is their mother. This is an actual tree, and oh my god, these are gorgeous. Holy moly! Wow, oh, I want it to bloom. How do we get it to bloom? Can we pump water up here and get it some life? Or is it dead? I mean, it doesn't look alive. Ah, uh, so she really is a widow? I didn't know trees could be mothers. Indeed. This species produces trees with male or female flowers. When pollinated, the female trees produce seeds. Its male counterpart likely was that other tree you spoke of, based on the location. Which, if I'm right, makes this tree the last of its species from the old world. Wow. What? So, you mean the Mountain Widow survived the Age of Darkness? I believe so. By some miracle, the two poplars survived the Calamity as well as 300 years of darkness. This symbol confirms this one's age, and my theories. Subsisting atop this mountain, reaching up at the dullest of sunlight, they were just only able to cling on to life long enough. That is so cool. Whoa, look at my giant ass house. Hey, that's pretty. My house is like a quarter of the size of Sandrock. When Peach parted the skies, they were revitalized. And shortly after, this mother tree dispersed her seeds into these windy heights to form become the basis for the forest around Martel's oasis. Wow. Hence, sand rock. Hey friends, uh, there's something that I think it's a bug that's causing his dialogue to cut out because it's not my recording software because you can still hear the music from the game. The music and the dialogue from the game are all recorded into the same channel. So a little unfortunate, but I wanted to point that out. There's nothing I can really do about it. Wow, I've never heard anything like that before. It's pretty incredible. That's because I've just discovered it. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> that was kind of a slam but he definitely had a softer delivery than chi would say something like that right <laughs> is that just scientists do they just like state the obvious that you're missing man congratulations dr lua i smell publishing and awards well let's not get too far ahead of ourselves i still need to get back to the lab and compare their genetic material but, to me, seeing this, my theory is all but confirmed. Nice! What a privilege to witness such a discovery in real time. Thanks for inviting us, Nia. Yeah, pretty cool. My only regret is, this tree was doing well until just 50 years ago. The relic rush has, in the end, widely claimed this particular relic too, yeah. it seems. Wow, it's been just here on the horizon and nobody knew. I'll bet the people of the Relic Rush never knew either. No, of course not. Mm. Unlikely they had any clue as to its significance. It's surprising they didn't just chop it down and use the wood. Yep. Maybe it was just too hard to get to. The last known old world tree in the whole of the Eufaula. And now, yeah. They couldn't have known that the Relic Rush would have caused well, I can't say that. I don't think that when we like mine for resources, at least in the beginning, like you think about the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, because I think this is kind of what this is a metaphor for. You know, we discovered oil and we were like, holy crap, there's so much energy we can pull from this. I don't think we could have or they could have possibly understood just how devastating what was to come was going to be for the planet. And in that same way, I don't think we can blame the original people of the Relic Rush. Now that we know, now that the people of Sandrock know and have had to deal with the devastation of the environment, it, you know, the weight and the responsibility of caring for their environment makes so much more sense. It has lived for a long time and now is holding on by a thread. To think. Everything this tree has seen, 
The rise and fall of civilization. The hope of Peach. The fall of Sandrock. Which will soon be continued by the rise of Sandrock. That is a very good point. One can hope. Do you think if we can make Sandrock green again, she could make a comeback? Absolutely. Not a chance, I'm afraid. What? Even under the most optimal circumstances, this tree will be consumed by fungus and pest long before our plans even begin to come to fruition. Listen here, old man. I don't think you understand what us sand rockers are capable of. You think that pests and fungus are going to stop us? I, we fought off an army, bro. Come on. I'm going to prove this dude wrong. This thing will leaf again. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but can't we just water it? Fertilizer? It's not a dumb question. It's an innocent question. The soil up here is a hundred years away from being able to support a tree of this size. It's impossible. I see. I guess this is hello and goodbye then, Miss Mountain Widow. Hmm. The Mountain Widow wasn't waiting for anyone. It was just carrying on without her husband, watching its children thrive until... Hmm. Seeing the forest disappear was too much for her to bear. If we can find seeds of this species, I'm sure we've got, there's gotta be some somewhere. Can we find maybe Chi has, somebody has them, Zeke maybe has some. Then instead of planting the black saxel trees, can we plant these? And then Miss Mountain Widow can see her grandchildren, her great grandchildren rise up again. Is that a possibility? Doesn't seem right calling it the Mountain Widow knowing that. It doesn't. How about Mama Tree, mother to all the poplar trees in Eufala? I like that better. I'll abstain from this and continue referring to it as what it is, the progenitor of the populous Euphratica. I am going to be a boring fuddy-duddy. I think we need something catchier. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Regardless of your decision, I believe I have what I need. <laughs> Shall we return to town? <laughs> <laughs> Sky has no clue. <laughs> like just a, just a little just a little storytelling here. Just a little embellishment. Just a little romance, bro. Come on. Well, wait a sec, professor. I remember from your nutrition class that as long as the roots are drinking, there's a chance. And you said yourself that Zeke's algae discoveries were changing soil faster than ever before. Yes. Yes. Perhaps Impossible was a bit of an overstatement. I suppose if we were to divert all our efforts toward this tree, there may yet be a time to discover what this old world tree eats, if anything different at all. All of our efforts towards this tree, did, does it, why can't we do both? Why does it always have to be one or the other? From there, a stable nutrient supply, meticulous care, consistent monitoring of its condition, it is theoretically possible. Okay, I'm. this is something that annoys me about, this is the hubris of man right here. To think that this tree needs to be babied in such a way, a stable nutrients, meticulous care, consistent monitoring of this condition. Dude, this tree survived the apocalypse and has been living on the top of this mountain in the middle of this dry, desiccated desert for 400 years. Like, if we just try to do anything, we don't have to convert, like, we don't have to switch all of our efforts to just save this one tree. It's not like we have to sacrifice all of our other efforts. But if we just put a little effort towards it, it has to help, right? And we don't have to do all of this. This tree survived long before you were here. And I think with just a little effort, this tree could be here long before you're gone. He's got such a pessimistic attitude. And that pessimistic attitude comes from his lack of understanding of really the magnificence of nature. As much as he is a biologist, it's like, dude, do you not realize that you're standing next to something that is like 10 times your age that has survived through nuclear winter what are you talking about nice so what's the first step i love me and she's just like okay let's do it he's trying to be like it's not possible it's like the most unlikely thing ever and she's like cool let's do it that's sandrock bro welcome to sandrock however hmm? our time here is limited nia we came to assist sandrock in their efforts to reforest the desert 
and then we must return to High Wind to continue our research there. Okay, you don't have to. That's a choice you're making. Uh, don't you want to save this tree, Professor? It's a piece of history. Is this how Nia becomes a member of the town? Is that she's like, nah, I'm gonna save this tree. I've learned enough from you. I do. And we will try, if there is time. But saving our future is more important than preserving our past. These two are not mutually exclusive. By trying to figure out how to save this tree, I'm sure that we will make discoveries in terms of ecological preservation that can then be applied to a whole host of other applications. Like this is narrow mindedness at its core. You're right. No, he's wrong. Hmm. Mian's gonna frickin' do it, watch. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. It's over now, Mama Tree. You did it! I don't know if it's just me today or what, but I feel like as we get towards the end of this game, like every freaking cutscene is making me emotional. I do not have the energy to be like crying my eyes out, guys, all right? You're laying it on so thick. I have to keep it together to some degree to make these videos. Okay, Pathia, you're really, you're really putting it to me right now. We're gonna take it from here. Your family is gonna make it, I promise. See what I mean? You rest easy. Okay, give me a second to just get my shit together. Holy moly. I will not give up faith. I will not give up hope. I have faith. We will. We will. Okay, so we got to go visit Jane, it looks like. Um, and besides that, I guess we're not having a ribbon cutting ceremony anywhere. Because um, I'm not seeing it. Okay, hold on. There's that one. Is this just pointing to me? Yes, it is. Is Burgess still practicing his sword play? How adorable is that? Oh my God. I'm so glad the light gives us beautiful white days like this. And you can save the little flakes for a little more water. <laughs> You're the light, Burgess. Day. Bye, bud. Whose um, house is this? Is this Burgess's house? Church dormitory? I've never been in here. Whoa. Was this where... Is this where Burgess lives? It's gotta be, right? Oh, that's cute. Was this where Burgess and Miguel lived? I guess so. Maybe Penn lived here too? This has to be where Penn's room was, right? Dang, I can't believe I never came in this room before. <laughs> Who put a snowman right there? <laughs> That's not where they go. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, where is Jane? Did I miss her? Oh, no, there she is. That oh, was what caused the alliance to be formed. Remember that date? It'll be on the next test. Okay. Oh, the builder. Just the person I was looking for. Hello, hello. I've been experimenting with different ways of bringing theater to the classroom, and the students have been surprisingly receptive to it. It's really helped them dive into the topic and really look for meaning. Cool. So I thought I'd organize a sort of model free cities activity. It's kind of a way to get them to understand how politics works, as well as a way to get them to understand and empathize with local issues. I mean, these little guys are the future, right? I think this is a fantastic idea. So 
know, my idea is that everyone will play the role as mayor and have a little election, giving their opinions on Sandrock's future. What do you think? Uh, I want to join. <laughs> well, when we get started, I'll find a role for you. Okay, great. Um, can I be... What can I be? <laughs> right. Uh, for now, I need to do a few home visits to the parents. Uh, see if they want to take part and see quite how amazing their children are. Oh, I also want to see if the children have their own ideas, too. I'm trying to make sure they're all involved. Hey, here's an idea. How about you join me? You're like the most popular person in town. With your help, I think people would welcome the idea with open arms. Okay, let's do it. Let's head to Logan and Andy's first. I already asked Trudy and Jasmine on the way here, and I'm thrilled to say they're on board. Cool. Andy, I gotta run. Bounty to take care of. Stay home and do your homework, alright? You got it. Ain't no problem. My homework is history. Well, it's math, but... Oh, sorry. Is this a bad time? We can come back. Jane! Nah, ain't a problem. I can make some time for Andy's future. Come on in. Well, thank you. Actually, we're here to talk about, uh, model free cities. Well, that sounds like a heck of an idea. If it helps Andy learn, I'm all for it. Could you see these two pairing up? I don't know, I kinda like it. Thank you so much. Andy, uh, do you have any ideas you wanna add? That's crazy! I was just thinking the other day, dang, if I were mayor, I'd turn this whole town into a theme park! Why ain't there a big slide going from my house to the blue moon? <laughs> That's a really great, great question. You should run on that. <laughs> Sounds like you better write it down and tell everyone all about it, Andy. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you. We owe any fees lately? Andy said he needed a hundred goals for textbooks and the like. I wanted to know when we gotta pay again. Would you look at the time? I ain't done the dishes yet and there's all that homework. <laughs> Did you scam him out of a hundred goals? Hold on. You ain't going nowhere. We, uh, never asked for any fees. The school is free for every student. I can explain. Oh, God, busted. Oh, I love this. You little. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Jane, uh, I reckon it's best you two head off now. Andy's uh, got about a million years of chores to get through now. He's about to whoop his ass. <laughs> Watch out. This is how we punish bandits. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? I think it'd be best if we go then. I've always found Logan a tad intimidating, but I didn't expect him to be so caring. He is a sweetheart. Yeah, you can tell he really cares about Andy's future. It's touching, really. All right, let's head to Pebble's house next. Okay. You drink local? Imported is so much better. Atara makes the healthiest formula. I can't recommend it enough. She's talking about yak mill milk. Why would we drink imported yak mill milk? I can't tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> I'm more of like, <laughs> I'm a little bit more lowbrow myself, right? If we have relish on our hot dogs at my house, we're feeling fancy. <laughs> Come on, you have to pay attention to these things. First, you're buying local formula, then you're feeding them food from the blue moon. Oh, what's next? Cactus pacifiers? Okay, Danby, you're getting a little judgy here, all right? Not everyone has the finances to buy the fanciest crap on the planet. It worked for me and Rocky, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, and they're badasses. Oh, Danby, you're here too. I wanted to talk to you about a model free cities. Can our Pebbles join in? I know he's small and all, but he's a real thinker, that one. I saw him looking at a book the other day. It was upside down, but he was looking real hard at the words. Good hustle, you know? What a kid. I be too. Yeah, bud. Of course. When we were doing the story of Peach, Pebbles was the star of the show. She is such a good teacher. Peach, Peach, Peach. 
That's great, Teach. That case, I'm definitely on board. I love your whole singing and dancing thing, don't get me wrong. Heck, I've been in the church choir since I could talk. Here we go. But, uh, in my day, we had, you know, books and stuff. I'm just a bit worried it's not academic enough. Should I stay silent on this one? I am not sure what the right answer is because I feel like sometimes I butt in when it's not really my place to. Um, and maybe I should let Jane stand up for herself. Hmm. I'm gonna say just wait and see. Of course, you should come and see it too. Uh, this activity will help the children understand the issues that we face in Sandrock and help them remember the content in a fun and exciting way. I can see a conflict rising here, right? She's like, um, why aren't you driving them as hard as possible? And she's like, we're doing plays. I think I understand. Well, I want to see in practice. I'm sure it'll click. Then maybe my daughter can join in the future. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way. I can't wait to see how your little one performs. I'm sure they'll steal the spotlight. Whew. Thanks for coming with me. It got a little awkward back there, but I'm glad you were by my side. I feel way more at ease. I picked the right one here. Seems like everything went well, though. So I'd better get back and start preparing. It's going to be quite a job. But if there's anything I need help with, I know the Free City's superstar builder just lives down the road. I gotcha. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. There's Merle. Hello, Merle. Logan, everybody's just hanging out. Shoot. Oh. Um, should we try and finally get this chest now that I've got this, like, epic leaper of a goat? It's only at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got a lot of time. It's not his leap that's the problem. It's that he, like, almost leaps too far. Okay, so if we get up here... Hello? No? Ah! Let's try this again. I want to get this. Okay. Oh, 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 no! Oh, wait. Yes! Oh, it's on the other side? Are you kidding me? I can't get it from here? What? Boo. Okay, wait. Can I go around? <laughs> oh. I just couldn't see the thing that said open chest. Hilarious. Who hit a diamond up here? Okay, does that disappear from the map? Is it still there? No idea where Merle is now. There he is. Hey, bud. Let's go. Okay. Well, shoot. What are we going to do with the rest of our day? I don't really know. I thought we were going to have, like, a big ceremony for the water thing, but it doesn't appear to be the case. That's just fine. Oh, there's the beloved. Okay. Ooh, lots of fluorite. Good. Two fluorite. I need more. Hello. Maybe I should go get fluorite, or I'm gonna fail this um, this quest. I do need to harvest this. We still have plenty of stone. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna feed this even more copper. And then I'm gonna go change my um, standing order. Wait, not this way. With the, with the moles and get more uh, copper because I'm running super low.
Whoa, that's a lot. We could say like a hundred. We did get a bunch of that, so maybe we could do more of that. And more of this. What is this? This is titanium, zinc, silver. Silver we don't get a lot of. Let's do something like that. Because don't we have a ton of iron ore now? There we go. That should probably fix our copper problem. Dun, 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 dun. And then I guess we'll go scrap. So we're just doing chores now. We're just tidying up the rest of the day. We'll go over here. We can basically clear this whole thing out. Hopefully we can get enough of the... Oh, wait a minute. I have a question. Can I make the next stage in the tools? I'll bet I can. I'll bet there's something above it, like alloy pickaxe and alloy axe. Ooh, I gotta look into that. Let's remember that. The sound is so good. The way it sounds different hitting the rubber versus hitting the metal versus hitting the plastic. I love that. Gosh, look at our beautiful house all lit up at night. Whoa, cool. We could probably stand to put some lights on the factory, huh? Oh, it looks awesome. Whoa, oh my gosh, this is the best. This is the best. We gotta get a gravity motor talked about that before. Um, Mr. Merle, oops. Okay, we need one more fluorite. We gotta scrap all this stuff and then I think that's it for the evening, right? That's it. I mean, I guess we could probably do some commissions really quick, but we've been trying to get these freaking commissions done for a long time. This guy's paying a lot for this. Let's grab that. We need a copper pan. Magnesium, chromium, furnace core. Can't this take care of all this? Do I really not have any of these? Don't you think that this should be able to do all of this? Hold on. Okay, well, no, we can't do it because of the spinel. I really wish that if you clicked on this, it would go straight there. Okay, so forging. This actually is really cool in that it tells you what you need. So six granite slab. Where are the granite slab? I'm out of granite. I find those in the Valley of Whispers. Okay, so I gotta go to the Valley of Whispers. We told it to do that, we need that. Copper pot, I don't know where this is made. So we can make this. Do you just have to, is there some stuff you just have to do on the advanced work table? You just have to come out here and make still? Okay, well that's interesting. Okay, so we took care of that. So we need spinel for this. Okay, I gotta go to the Valley of Whispers for that too. Okay, well we're gonna do that. Granite and spinel, that's what we're looking for. Oh, I've never noticed him rocking out with his headphones before. That's hilarious. Is that what this is? Yes. 
Uh, it shouldn't be that hard to get our hands on enough for what we need. I definitely need to look and see if I can make better tools as well, right? <clears throat> I'm basically just gonna ignore that guy. I don't care at all. you get up there? Is this my spino? Yes, it is. Beautiful. This has to be more than enough granite, but I don't really want to have to come back here again. I mean, I will if I have to, but I don't want to. Whoa are used when the factory restarts production. Holy crap. Wait, did it just kick off the moment I got enough of the resources? Crazy. Hey, look, a chest. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh. I thought that was the luck pendant that we see at the... Um, is this the advanced mechanical scrap? Yes, oh, this stuff's great. This is where I need to go. Get those transmission shafts. Okay, well, that's just what we're gonna do with the rest of the time that I have, but I think this is the perfect time to end the video, my friends. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, I'm hoping that in the next video, we get to do our little like ribbon cutting ceremony. Maybe she said it was gonna be in a couple days and I just heard tomorrow. Who knows? Well. I just want you all to know I appreciate you so much. I will bid you farewell, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.